Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting and training in righteousness. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. Psalm 119 verse 105 Your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Romans 15 verse 4 For everything that was written in the past was written to teach us, so that through the endurance taught in the scriptures and the encouragement they provide we might have hope. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 9 to 10. However, as it is written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived the things God has prepared for those who love him, these are the things God has revealed to us by his Spirit. Proverbs 2 verse 6. For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Hebrews 4 verse 12 For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Isaiah 40 verse 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. Proverbs 16 verse 9. In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Joshua 1 verse 9 Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 3 The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his name's sake. Psalm 32 verse 8 I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Isaiah 41 verse 10 So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. 
I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm 119 verse 18 Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. Psalm 119 verse 11 I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 so whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. 2 Timothy 3 verse 17 So that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. Psalm 19 verses 7 to 8 The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 For I am convinced that neither death nor life, either angels nor demons, either the present nor the future, nor any powers, either height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Proverbs 3 verses 1 to 2 My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Psalm 119 verse 130 The unfolding of your words gives light. It gives understanding to the simple. Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 11 These things happened to them as examples and were written down as warnings for us, on whom the culmination of the ages has come. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Romans 5 verse 5 and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Proverbs 4 verse 23 Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. Matthew 11 verse 28 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Psalm 119 verse 97 Oh, how I love your law! I meditate on it all day long. Romans 12 verse 11 Never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor, serving the Lord. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Psalm 143 verse 10 Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. 
May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Romans 10 verse 17 Consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word about Christ. Isaiah 26 verse 3 you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Romans 12 verse 6 We have different gifts according to the grace given to each of us. If your gift is prophesying, then prophesy in accordance with your faith. Proverbs 18 verse 10 The name of the Lord is a fortified tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Romans 8 verse 26 In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Romans 15 verse 5 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had. Proverbs 19 verse 21 Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Romans 8 verse 31 What, then, shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20 Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Romans 8 verse 32 He who did not spare his own Son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also? along with him, graciously give us all things. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Romans 12 verse 12 Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. 2 Corinthians 4 verse 16 Therefore we do not lose heart. Though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. Romans 12 verse 13 Share with the Lord's people who are in need. Practice hospitality. Philippians 4 verse 8 Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Romans 14 verse 17 For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Isaiah 55 verse 9 As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. Romans 15 verse 30 I urge you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ and by the love of the Spirit, to join me in my struggle by praying to God for me. Proverbs 2 verses 1 to 5 My son, if you accept my words and store up my commands within you, turning your ear to wisdom and applying your heart to understanding indeed, 
if you call out for insight and cry aloud for understanding, and if you look for it as for silver and search for it as for hidden treasure, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Romans 15 verse 33 The God of peace be with you all. Amen. Isaiah 40 verse 29 He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Romans 8 verse 37 No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Matthew 6 verses 25 to 26 Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Romans 16 verse 19 Everyone has heard about your obedience, so I rejoice because of you. But I want you to be wise about what is good and innocent about what is evil. Isaiah 41 verse 13 For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear. I will help you. Romans 15 verses 5 to 6 May the God who gives endurance and encouragement give you the same attitude of mind toward each other that Christ Jesus had, so that with one mind and one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Isaiah 55 verse 12 You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Romans 13 verse 10 Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore love is the fulfillment of the law. 1 Corinthians 16 verse 14 Do everything in love. Romans 14 verse 1 Accept the one whose faith is weak, without quarreling over disputable matters. Proverbs 3 verse 13 Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding. Isaiah 26 verse 4 Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord, the Lord himself, is the rock eternal. Romans 5 verses 1 to 2 Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Matthew 6 verse 34 Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Romans 15 verse 14 I myself am convinced, my brothers and sisters, that you yourselves are full of goodness, filled with knowledge and competent to instruct one another. Psalm 143 verse 8 Let the morning bring me word of your unfailing love, for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go, for to you I entrust my life. Romans 12 verse 15 Rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn. Matthew 5 verse 16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Romans 8 verse 18 I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. Psalm 19 verse 14 
May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Romans 10 verse 15 And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Isaiah 43 verse 2 When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Romans 15 verse 1 we who are strong ought to bear with the failings of the weak and not to please ourselves. Romans 15 verse 7 Accept one another then, just as Christ accepted you, in order to bring praise to God. Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Romans 16 verse 24 The grace of our Lord Jesus be with you all. Amen.